Today on Performance TV, we visit PRI 2017, and this event is all about speed, racing, performance, and power. Welcome to this week's Performance TV coming to you from Indianapolis, Indiana. It is the 30th annual Performance Racing Industry Trade Show. And Joe, it's BRI, baby. Performance Racing Industry, 30 years. Drag racing, NASCAR, stock cars, every part and piece of machine you could ever want, they are here. Yes, all kinds of new parts, new things to think about, and we are going to hit the floor running. Joe, what do you say we let's go? The race is on, let's go. You know, when we come to PRI, one of the first places I want to stop is Borla Tracy. My very first Borla muffler that I ever had was not one in a street vehicle, but actually my dragster in the XR1 race line. Give us an idea behind the technology. Sweet. We hold the patents actually inside of the XR1 racing line, the straight through flow technology, which allows us to actually control the sound. It gives the driver a little better opportunity to hear the vehicle, be in tune with the vehicle, and you get the increased horsepower as well as it actually just allows your engine to do what it's capable of doing. Let's say you've got a, a Mustang, a certain year Mustang. You're not really sure what you want, but you can go to Borla's website and tell us about that. Absolutely. We actually put a lot of time and energy into our website to actually be able to make the customer experience a happy one. We understand there's many different people who do a lot of different things and who desire different sounds. It's just like music. Some people like country, some people like rock and roll. We give you that ability and we give you the ability to choose it prior to actually purchasing it. You can go to our website, check out the engine model itself, and you can listen to it from the interior, the exterior, the drive-by. Just really gives you a real good feel for what you really want to be happy with in the long run. Absolutely. And we're talking touring, the S-Type, and the attack. Love the attack on our C7 Corvette. It is sweet. There's no question about that. Just gives you the opportunity to be more in touch and more in tune with your car when all is said and done because you have the ability to listen, to actually listen and feel what's really going on in the driver experience. Oh boy, and it just makes it so much fun, more fun to drive. Find out what Borla has for your vehicle. Like I said, touring, S-Type, attack, and so much more with the race line line. You can go to their website, borla.com. We're here on Machinery Row at PRI. There's all kinds of great stuff, and we ran into our friends from KMT Waterjet and Multicam. Chris, you were in the studio, you cut a bunch of stuff, yeah. you made things, but here at PRI, wow. It's amazing, right? We've been here a few days already getting set up and whatnot. We've seen lots of different parts and products that are cut either with Waterjet or could be cut with Waterjet. So it's exciting to be here and exciting to see so many performance racing teams that really need this product. 90,000 PSI, that just blows my mind. Why is that an important number? Speed, speed, performance, speed, speed makes you competitive. So when you go to 90,000 PSI, you get that much more productivity out of the machine in the same amount of time, uh, it costs you less, dollars per foot of cut. So at the end of the day, as a manufacturer, speed is money. Racing is a competition, business is a competition, and this is perfect yeah. for any business. Design and build, if you come up with an idea and there's a market for it, these guys, man, there's tons of different market spaces and niches, things that you can do that create a whole new market. We saw that on episode three, you know, where there was a little bracket you could do. Man, there's a million and a half of those Mustangs out there that need that bracket now. $85 million market, boom. Chris, this multicam machine is different than the one you brought into the studio. Yes, this one is. This one's a five axis system. The one that came to the studio is a three axis system. The one in the studio was really what you see in a lot of uh, performance racing shops and, and startup shops. Then once you get to something more complicated or you need to do something in five axis or 3D, this is the system for you. Chris, where can people find out more on the net? www.multicam.com. You can come check out all the wide range of products we got from small to large. We got it all. Multicam and KMT, perfect combination. You know, as a drag racer, the first thing that's going to catch my eye is a lot of horsepower. How about 2,800 horsepower in this two-wheel drive Poland truck? So what this 2,800 horsepower does, it gets 60,000 pounds going up to 30 miles an hour in seven seconds, which is pretty awesome when you think 60,000 pounds. This thing is throwing mud. It is so cool. And the theme on this truck is Mad Max. 
So they've taken that all the way through from the interior to the windows, even the really cool LED lights right in the front grill. But you know what else I think is kind of neat? So you're all done doing your pull or whatever. This thing even has power windows. There's all kinds of different racing, but this truly unique. It's a phenomenon in upstate New York and Long Island. Fire department racing and started way back in the 1800s where guys would push their carts and challenge each other to stay in competition. Well, then it evolved. Engines, motors, race cars, four guys on the back trying to climb a ladder. It is absolutely insane. It is still a phenomenon and it is represented right here at PRI. How cool is this? Stick around, we'll be back with more Performance TV after this. Performance TV is being brought to you by rockauto.com. All the parts your car will ever need. Custom Auto Sound, the originator of classic car OEM fit radio since 1977. Hunter Engineering, state-of-the-art wheel aligners and wheel alignment machines. And by All Fit Automotive, the world's strongest universal lip kit. The Indianapolis Motor Speedway always brings out a great display. This year, Super Tex, AJ Foyt, we got the four winning cars. Joining me, Donald Davidson, Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Historian, Donald, we have the four AJ Foyt win cars behind us, it's beautiful. Well, we're very fortunate, Joe, because uh, the, 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 the four cars are all actually owned by the museum, so you don't have to borrow them from anybody. And uh, if you try to identify who are the most significant, the greatest names, the most influential, and so on and so forth, points right up at the top. All right, let's talk about the winning cars. Yeah. I notice we've got a couple of uh, front engine old, uh, yeah. well, I would say old, but at the time, they were the cutting edge of technology roadsters. Absolutely. Uh, Foyt is uh, the only person that won the 500 with a front engine car and a rear engine car. But his first win, 1961, was his fourth start. And it was a car built by Floyd Travis, uh, based on the famous A.J. Watson uh, Roadster uh, concept. And I always put quote marks around Roadsters because it was a nickname. Uh, but Foyt had a, a back and forth battle in the late stages with, uh, with Eddie Sachs. And so when, they, when the crew uh, advised Foyt, you know, you're, you're going to have to come in, he came on on the 140, uh, 184th lap, made what they now call a splash and go. That gave the lead back to Sachs, but Sachs wore out a, a, a right front tire, and so he came in with three laps to go to make a pit stop, and Foyt went back into the lead and won his first 500. Now, 1964, the car that sits right behind us, right off the track into the museum. Uh, the rear engine cars were coming in. Foyt had a rear engine car available to him, uh, as did uh, you know, all of the leading drivers. Some of them went with the rear engine. Foyt decided to go with the Roadster because he thought, I think this is still reliable. So he won the race, but basically, uh, it's pretty much as it appeared in the 500, and then they parked it because the rear engine cars were coming. It's, it's a 50-something-year-old paint job, and you could even see the pock marks on, uh, on the nose cone. So when People have said, oh, we, we ought to freshen that up. No, don't touch it. It's real. <laughs> that's, that's the original Foyt, uh, the, the Dean Jeffries, uh, you know, hot rod looking uh, paint job for, that went on in uh, 1964. And then it was antiquated. The rear engine yeah. cars came in, and that was Foyt's next win in a rear engine car. Yeah, the, uh, the, the, the transition once it started was, was pretty quick. And uh, so in 1967, uh, then uh, Foyt one uh, with a coyote it's called a coyote but it was based very heavily on the english lotus 38 and uh, and it gave Foyt his third victory so he won every uh, what every third year or whatever it was and uh, he became uh, the fourth person to win the 500 for a third time uh, joining louis meyer wilbur shaw and maury rose and of course the final win on display here yeah. late 70s yeah. it's the disco era you can see the cars have evolved yeah. tremendously into something that is familiar to us now well it's a bob riley design and uh, extremely streamlined and but so iconic uh, because of the fact that uh, foyt had tried for what 10 years to get the fourth and it was such a dramatic year in 77. Tom Sneva was on the pole and had a couple of 200 mile an hour laps. Janet Guthrie was in the field, the first lady to drive in the 500 and on and on and on. And uh, it looked like Gordon Jancock was going to win. And then he had a, 
mechanical failure late in the race and, and into victory lane. Uh, uh, you know, the last few laps and into victory lane went, went A.J. Foyt. Oh, wow. Tremendous. Donald, thank you so much You're for making the effort to come in. These cars, the knowledge you've acquired over the years, your passion for the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, we greatly appreciate it. Thank you for taking the time and going in depth on this subject. Thank you, Joe, very much. We are so fortunate when we come to the PRI show to be able to learn about so many different products. One of those that we've been able to learn about over the past few years is race gas. And Dan, give us an idea of what one of the biggest questions is someone asks you to show like this. You know, we get a lot of customers that ask us, well, how are you different than, you know, the octane boost you buy at the parts store? And it's really about design intent. Those products do a really good job if you've got a little pinging and you're towing and, and you, you want to take care of that, and they do a great job. We're not that. We're trying to replicate racing fuel. In order to do that, you have to do three things. You have to increase the chemical energy, increase the chemical oxygen, and increase the octane. Why is that important? If you have high octane and low chemical energy, you're lean at wide open throttle, you'll damage the engine. If you uh, have high octane and low chemical oxygen, not all the fuel burns in the power stroke, it burns in the exhaust stroke, and you'll damage the engine. So when we designed race gas, we specifically tried to address those three uh, items, and we're able to do it and get a patent in the process. We've got about 600 speed shops in the United States that sell our product, um, a few smaller chains. And this year that happened, it basically happened from PRI last year, is that's different than this year, is we actually have 12 distributors now. So all over US, Canada, and also some of Latin America. So we've really expanded over the last year. I tell you what, it's such an easy product to use. Find out more, go to their website, race-gas.com. And Joe, what do you have for us next? This is the Cadillac prototype that won the 2017 Rolex 24. The start to the racing season at Daytona. Jeff Gordon, the Taylor brothers, Max Angelelli, a pass with three laps to go. They won the race. The DPIV R Cadillac, first race back, wins, goes on to win the championship. On display here at PRI. It is beautiful. Do you think it looked this good after taking the checkered flag? I doubt it. More to come from PRI on Performance TV after this short break. Welcome back to Performance TV, coming to you from the Indianapolis Convention Center. It is the 30th annual PRI trade show, and we're standing right here with one of my favorite classes, Top Alcohol Funny Car. Of course, this Permatex car, driven by Phil Burkhart, Jr., such a fun class to watch. And you know what? Being a big drag racer, I'm using a lot of the Permatex products, and I know a lot of you are very familiar with that. Right stuff. I don't know how much right stuff is all over my dragster, but maybe you're not familiar with what else is under the Permatex umbrella, and that's why we have Donnie with us. Donnie, the Spray 9 product right off the bat is an awesome product. It is, yeah. We're very proud of it. It's great. Anyone who tries it loves it. Spray 9 is part of our innovation as a, the Permatex family as a whole. We have lots of engineering experience behind us uh, from a chemical standpoint. So Spray 9 is that heavy-duty cleaner, degreaser, but unique disinfectant as well. And we also came out with a new product this year. Um, it's called Grease Off. So it's a parts cleaner degreaser um, that you can use as a parts cleaner, uh, typical spray cleaner, but also use in a parts bath system. Okay, so let's say I've taken a motor apart or whatever. It's got a lot of carbon buildup. It's going to be able to help me with something like that too? Yes, it can remove carbon, no problem. It can be used to uh, take off grease and all that kind of stuff. It has corrosion inhibitors also built into it. Um, you can also use it for, uh, like, you know, if you're a DIYer, you can put it in a parts bath and use it in that bath at home or in an aqueous space or a water-based parts system cleaner, like, like I mentioned. I love it. it, the fact that Spray 9 is a cleaner, it's also a disinfectant and so much more. Plus, their new product, you want to find out more, just check out the website and let's check out what Joe has for us next. At the PRI trade show, there's all kinds of chassis and race cars and they would be nothing without rod ends basically the essential link we're here with bob from rod End supply without the rod end where would the racing industry be well there's very few suspension pieces out there that are used in any type of racing equipment that doesn't use a rod end so without a rod end you're not going to get very far well you've been packed here you have all kinds of different rod ends here you do custom runs you do things for custom situations even in space but what are you showing here at this particular show well we show our complete line uh, our main product line is a product that we've developed 
Uh, it has an injection molded race uh, material we call nylofiber. Uh, it doesn't beat out like a Teflon liner. It has its own lubrication. Uh, definitely outlasts a Teflon line type part and it's uh, superior to a metal to metal part too. The nice thing about this particular part is the way it's made, there's no way for the dirt or grime to get in it. And so therefore the lubrication stays in it, uh, it stays free, and doesn't beat out. People who want to find out more, maybe get a custom run for their own operation, where should they go? Oh, just to go to our website, uh, www.rodinsupply.com, or uh, you can look us up on the web, of course, and get to us that way. We do a lot of advertising in magazines. And we're on TV every once in a while, too. Every now and again. Thanks, Bob. Thank you. You know, we've shown you racing simulators before here at the PRI show, but PRI continues to step it up. Check out what they've brought in this year. I'm talking about their feeling everything that these cars are doing on the tracks. Mind you, running some of the top tracks in the country, but they're also using the VR, which is something that's brand new for the simulators this year. These guys are really getting into it. They're being able to see everything, look around, feel it. And of course, that is just one of the many cool things we get to do at PRI. We'll have more from the PRI show from Indianapolis, Indiana on Performance TV up next. Performance TV is being brought to you by Stage 8 Locking Hitter Bolts. Learn more at Stage8.com. Clamp Tight, the clamp making tool. Steel Rubber Products, quality crafted rubber parts and weather stripping. And by Evapo Rust, super safe rust remover. There's all kinds of rock stars, but at PRI, rock stars are cars and fabricators, like this 57 wagon owned by Richie Crampton. He's a top fuel driver, built his own car and won the U.S. Nationals with it, and then found this wagon on the web, built the chassis, went out on drag week, and set the internet on fire. Everybody's got to see this thing. It's got perfect patina. It is modern on the inside, old school on the outside, and a thing of beauty. When you're at PRI, it's not just about all of the great parts that you're going to see, but the things that help make the parts and keep the things that are making those parts cool. And that's where we come to see Gary at Gusher Pumps. How are you doing, Gary? I'm doing very well. Thank you very much. Give us an idea of what the company Gusher Pumps is all about. It's pretty uh, widespread. We do uh, machine tool cooling pumps. We do parts washer uh, pumps. We do pumps that pump eco paint for the automotive industry. We do a lot of uh, manufacturing for pumps that do uh, pump chips and everything back to central filtration and a lot of the manufacturers that do stuff for the automotive as well. Well, the one that we're standing next to here, just give us an idea of how much it's pumping. This one's pumping about 100 gallons a minute and um, we just acquired a company down in Florida that does 500,000 gallons a minute. So that's quite mind boggling when you think of it. It's a uh, pumps that are probably not even fitting in this booth that we're in today. That, that is just mind-boggling. Give us an idea of some of the people who would be looking for a product such as Gusher Pumps. Anybody that has to move fluid, period. It's, it doesn't matter if it's uh, uh, for your little water fountains in your, in your front yard to massive cooling systems, um, uh, cooling towers, uh, everything that has to do with any kind of manufacturing of, a, of parts or anything at all. And this is just one of the, the many companies, actually, that's, that's under the Ruthman umbrella. That's correct. There's um, six manufacturers uh, total in all the, um, the pump manufacturers, that is. And then there are 16 different uh, companies under the, the Ruthman family of uh, companies. So if you want to find out more about what Gusher Pumps has to offer you and your company, just hop on their website at gusher.com. One of the first things you do when you hop up your streetcar is get a new torque converter. Well, high performance torque converters are big here at PRI. We're here with Marty Chance of Neil Chance Racing Converters. You guys have been dominating ProMod, and you guys are gonna try to dominate some other fields. Yeah, you're right. We've taken the technology that's set world records in about every field of ProMod racing, nitrous, turbos, blowers, all that, and brought it to the street for the, uh, the enthusiast who's got a boosted 800,000 horsepower street rod, you know, Camaros, Corvettes, Mustangs. So we've developed a high-tech converter system. We just took our ProMod converters, the 10.5 and the 9.9, made them in a lockup version for all the popular Fords and Chevys, and uh, 
this makes the driving experience 100% better. So at partial throttle, it drives just like a stock vehicle, but when you stand on the throttle and give it the power, it feels like a race car. That doesn't mean we forgot about the racer, though. We've still got a lot of R&D uh, going on right now for the hardcore race application. Um, most of the racing world knows we've, we've taken over with the lockup converters. And uh, working on something for the guy who wants the lockup performance but doesn't have the Pro Mod budget. That's about all I can tell about it for you right now, but look for it mid-2018 season. We'll have her for you. A big tease from Neil Chance Racing Converters. Marty Chance, thank you. Thanks, buddy. Boy, I tell you what, talk about finding some unique stuff here on the floor at the 30th PRI show in Susie. You can't get much more unique than a Rambler. Nope, hopefully. That was what I was going for. I wanted different. Why this vehicle? Why this vehicle? Well, I autocrossed, so I wanted something that was different. But, you know, it's pretty hard to find a wagon that's small uh, for the autocross. And I wanted it to be American-made. So How I difficult was it to find something that was in good enough shape? <laughs> Well, finding an American-made wagon, yeah, that still existed, that wasn't, uh, you know, 150-inch wheelbase was certainly a, a challenge. So uh, I found this one on Craigslist, and it was a California car, and it was in the back of a trailer park underneath a tarp, and ironically did not have a lot of rust, and the body panels were in relatively decent shape, all things considered. So we went with it. I knew, you know, it's, it's one of those things. You see it, and you know it, and that was this. I, this car was mine. And that is PRI, everything in the racing industry under one roof. Oh, I know, and you know what? Oh, there's a whole bunch more for us to see here. You know what, I think we should do more coming up next week. A whole nother show from PRI, you, you on board? I love the idea, but I gotta tell you, I didn't get anything to eat today. Too many race cars, too many racing parts. How about we hit the Pit Stop Cafe? Sounds like a good deal. In the meantime, we're gonna do that, but next week we'll have more from Indianapolis, Indiana and the 30th Annual Performance Racing Industry Trade Show on Performance TV.